yesterday we taught the practice set 1.2 tomorrow we can just start the universal sets so for understanding the universal sets first we can see some of the example to know what is the universal set so see the first example is a is the set of x such that x is a physics laboratory in your school so this is the set of a in that set of a they are having the physics laboratory then we can see the another set this is the set of b so this is the set of b so the set of b such that y is the set of y is a chemistry laboratory so b set having chemistry laboratory a set having physics laboratory then we can see the another set so this is the set of c that set of c has biology laboratory so a is physics b is chemistry c is biology so these are laboratories so another set we can see this is the u set that u set is the set of i such that i is laboratory in a school so what you have with the laboratories having in school that all is having in u so that all is having in u means physics laboratory is subsets of u chemistry laboratory is subsets of u biology laboratory is subsets of u why it is so because u is the set of laboratory in a school so u is the set of laboratory in a school so the physics laboratory is subsets of u because physics laboratory is also having in school laboratories afterwards chemistry laboratory that is b that is also having in school laboratories so b is the subsets of u afterwards there is the biology laboratory that is set c so that biology laboratory is also having in school laboratories so this is also subsets of u so we can say that the u is the universal set of a b and c so we can see another example that can be explain you so see we are the girls of 9th a of kv kanya school so 9th a class is a universal set for which example i am just to say to you for that the kv kanya 9th a girls class is a universal set so set a is a kabaddi playing girl set b is the kho kho playing girl set c is the dodgeball playing girls so that all girls are having in 9a so see the main this, this is the kabaddi dodgeball that all girls are belong to which class 9a class so 9a is the universal set so remember that the universal set is remains constant universal set is not change for that example what will be the given example in that example universal set is a constant that cannot change see here is also written in note the universal set is a set that cannot change in given example so that is you remember that after are you understand the meaning of universal set there see the universal set means the all sets are subsets of that set is the universal sets suppose another example kv kanya school that kv kanya school having 5th a 6th a 7th a 8th a 9th a 10th a classes so all these class are subsets of kv kanya so kv kanya is a universal sets and another classes is the subsets of kv kanya so such a way we can say under uh, already learn universal set then we can see the another set that is the complement sets so what is meaning of complement see just a definition of the complement sets what they write if u is the universal set and set a is the subsets of the universal sets why it is called the subsets of the universal sets because what are be the elements of a that is having in universal set so it is a subset so then set of all elements in u which are not in set a the element which is not in set a that is a complement 
अंडरस्टैंडिंग द कॉम्प्लीमेंट सेट विथ एग्जाम्पल विथ हेल्प ऑफ एग्जाम्पल वी कैन सी वन ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल सीयर्स सो सी विच इज दैट एग्जाम्पल सो इट इज लेट यू इज द यूनिवर्सल सेट सच दैट एक्स इज द सेट ऑफ एक्स इज ए नैचुरल नंबर एंड दिस नैचुरल नंबर इज इक्वल टू और स्मॉलर देन नाइन देन another set is also given because i want to write the complement set of that set so we want another set so this is the a set so a set having 1 3 5 and 7 so i want to write the complement set of a sets so how can you write the complement set of a set so first we write the so which is the universal sets given that in the roster from so how can you write in the roster from so they are said there is natural number which is equal to Or smaller than nine. So that natural number is written here in the roster from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, that is written in the roster form. Then I write here set A. So see, this is the set A. That set A having A. That set A having one, three, five, seven. So one is in set A. so that is cancel from universal set so that cancel can be show by the green color see the one can be show by the green color because that number is cancel because that is having in a so that why they are cancel because i want to write complement set of a so what will be the elements of a that must be cancel from universal set and that you understanding purpose i show that number by the green color okay so this is the number 3 that is having in a so this 3 is also having in universal set so this 3 is also cancel that is show by the green color then it is the 5 so 5 is also having in set a but that is also having in universal set so this 5 is also cancel so they are showing by the green color then here is the number 7 in a so that 7 number is also cancel from the universal set seven so whatever be the elements remains they are the complement sets of a so how can you understand which element is remain so that remains element can be show by the red color so that is the complement sets so complement set means what complement set means the element which is present in a that is cancel from universal set and that cancel number we can show by the green color and which is remains elements that is complement sets and that can be show by the red color so see how can you write the complement sets so see this is the a complementary and the complementary number c this is the red color 2 so it is complementary element 2 4 6 8 and 9 this is the complementary sets are you understand how can i write the complement sets then this this complementary set we want to write by the venn diagram because there is written the venn diagram so how can you write the complementary sets by the venn diagram so if you want to write the complementary sets from venn diagram so the universal set can be show by the rectangle remember that the universal set is always show by the rectangle and that is denoted by capital u and that u is written outside the rectangle and whatever be the elements that is written in vowel circle triangle whatever it may be you can use any shapes and whatever be the complementary elements that is written outside that circle so how can you draw the venn diagram just see the venn diagram see this is the venn diagram this is the rectangle that rectangle can be show by this red colors and this rectangle is the universal set so it is indicated by u then this is the set a that set a having 1 3 5 and 7 elements that can be see on a screen afterwards what are be the elements of a that is cancel from the universal set and remaining elements is the complementary sets of a and that is written in a rectangle such a way we can show the when we can show the complement sets by the venn diagram i think all of you understand very well then we can start completed the point which is the basic points for practice set 1.3 then we can start practice set 1.3 So in practice set 1.3, we can take on question number one and question number two. I have taken only two questions because you are understand very well. So that purpose I am taken here two questions. So see which is the question number one.
Question number one that can be seen here. This is the question number one. A. A is the set of A, B, C, D, E. B is the set of C, D, E, F. C is the set of B, D. D is the set of A and E. Then, which of the following statements are true or false? So, which question is given to you? See here the questions which is given to you. And that all questions we can solve one by one. So, we can see the first questions which is given to you. And we can solve this question here. So, see what is the question given here. So, this is the first question given that C is the subset of B. So, when you say C is the subset of B, so what will be the elements of C? That all elements are present in B, then you can say C is the subset of B. So, what will be the elements of C? B. Okay, we are just going to check whether they are having in B or not. Means this B element having in B set, we are just going to check. Oh, there is not a B. Oh, there is not a B. That means that C is subset of B is a wrong. It is a false statement. And that reason is written here that B is not having in set B. So, it is a false. Are you understand? Why not it is said? Because in set B, they are having element B. But that element B is not present in B. So, it is not a subset. So, it is a false. Then, we can see the problem number 2 here. So, what is the problem number 2? They are said A is the subset of D. So, when you say A is the subset of D, so what will be the elements of A? See, this is the set of A. So, what will be the elements of A? That all elements are present in D. Then we can say A is the subset of D. So, we just check it whether it is possible or not. So, see, the set A having A elements, set D having A elements, okay. Then set A having B elements, but set D no B elements. Set A having C elements, set D no C elements. Set D A having D elements, set D there is no D elements. Means in set A, B element, C element, D element, that elements are not present in D. So A is the subset of D is a false. And that reason is written here that B, C, D is not present in D. So, it is a false. It is a not subset. So, this statement is false. Now, we can see the problem number third here. Whatever it may be. So, problem number third, D is the subset of B. So, when you say this D is the subset of B, so where the elements of D, that is the A and E, the elements of D, A and E, that is present in B set, then it is subset. So, D having what? A. So, we are just going to check the A element is having in B or not. Yeah, here is not A elements. So, a B in set B, there is not A, a elements. So, it is not a subset of B. It is not a subset of B because there is no element of A. So, A element is absent in B. So, this statement is also false that D is not subsets of B. Then we can see the another example. Which is the example? C. D. D is the subset of A. So, what is the D? D having S. D having E. A and E elements. So, we are checking that A and E elements are present in A. If A and E elements is present in A, then D is the subset of A. Okay. So, D having A. A having A. Very good. D having E. A having E. Okay. Then A elements and E elements that all elements are present in A. So, we can say that D is the subset of A because what will be the elements of D that all elements are present in A. So, it is a subset. Then, we can see the another example. It is the B is the subset of A whether it is true or false that you want to see. So, when you say B is the subset of A, where the elements of B that is present in A, then it is subset. So, I have just checked one by one. So, B set having element C, A having C. B having D, A having D. B having E, A having E. Okay. But, B having A, A 
is okay then we can see the problem number 5 here the problem number 5 b is the subsets of a so when we say b is the subsets of a when b having elements that all elements is present in set a then b is the subsets of a so we can check b having c a having c b having d a having d b having e a having e but b having f but that f is not having an element a so b is the subsets of a this statement is wrong false because f element is not having in set a so b subset a that statement is wrong then we can see the another questions that is the question number six so whatever it may be c the c is the subsets of a c is the element p and d a is the element a b c d e so when you say c is the subsets of a so whatever be the elements of c that is having in b a then it is subsets so c having b c having b so a having also b c having d so a having also d so all the elements of c that is present in a so c is the subsets of a then we can see the statement here what is written so here is written b and d all elements are present so c is the subsets of a it is true then we can see the question number two in question number two they are written that the universal set is the 1 to 20 okay universal set is 1 to 20 natural numbers so we can write 1 to 20 numbers in universal set so this is the question number one is given x is the set of x such that x is belong to natural number and 7 is smaller than x and x is smaller than 15 so 7 is smaller than x that means that the x is 8 because it is a natural number so it is a x so x is equal to value is 8 because n is the natural number so 7 greater than number is 8 so here is another number they are compared with 15 so this x is smaller than 15 so this x is smaller than 15 so 15 na smaller than natural number is 14 so here is we write number 8 to 14 so see here how can you write that so x having 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 numbers so we can be write that numbers so we want to draw the venn diagram so if you want to draw the venn diagram so venn diagram can be denoted by rectangle so you can write the you can draw the rectangle when you draw the rectangle that meaning is venn diagram and the venn diagram is denoted by capital u and whatever be the elements of set x that can be written in vowel so see how can you draw the venn diagram so see this is the venn diagram this rectangle is the venn diagrams and that is denoted by u whatever be the elements of x that is written here and except elements is written in the universal sex such a way we can be draw the venn diagram of question number first this is the universal set that can be shown by the rectangle and in this rectangle we are write 1 to 20 natural numbers and whatever be the prime numbers this is 2 2 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 and 19 that is written here in vowels so vowel is written the y sets so except these elements whatever be the numbers uh, remains that number is written in the rectangle such a way we can draw the Venn diagrams of question number 2, sub question 2 and whatever be the today's lecture, that today's lecture is over. I think that all of you understand very well. If you have any doubts, you can, whatever be your opinions, that opinions you can be give me on a WhatsApp group. Okay. Have a nice day. 
just I will give you homework for you. So see, this is the homework. You must be solve this homework and send me. Okay, have a nice day.